Traders Vlog, what's good? Y'all know who it is, Mark Fuller, Team Alliance. Just wanted to document something real quick. I know that y'all see people standing over there. You see how it's people over there? You see over there, right there, that's the entrance. There's a line outside the supermarket. Like this is going on all over New York City right now. You gotta stand outside to wait to get inside before you can even get inside to go buy your groceries. Things is a little different, a little different. That's the entrance over there, see? Yes, sit tight. All right, so anyway, here, here's what I'm up to. I am on the platform, I'm on the charts right now. You know, nothing stops us from uh, running our business, thank God. We are blessed to be in the best home-based business, the best anywhere-based business on the planet. Did a live stream um, earlier on YouTube talking about and really asking the question of what, what home-based business aside from trading would, do you think will survive this pandemic? That's what the question was. You can check it out on the YouTube channel. You'll see it. Um, I forgot what volume it is as far as which commentary. It's in the 250s somewhere, something like that. But whatever number it is, check that out. Very good live stream. And give, you know, give your feedback. You can give your feedback on this video too. Um, let, me, let me take a look at the markets. I'm going to do... Probably immediately following this, I'm going to do an update for the slow and steady. I actually took another trade. You can see that the balance now is at 356. So this is the slow and steady uh, project account that I'm using. So I did take another trade. Um, and I actually didn't get an opportunity to record it because I was in the supermarket. <laughs> but um, I'm just glancing right now at the charts, at the platform. Guys out here, what y'all doing, racing? Like they racing or something. What y'all up to, man? Dudes be out here wilding. Um, yeah, but anyway, so, let me zoom in a little bit. Yeah, so the content earlier on YouTube, the uh, on the live stream, it was very good very good and I'm really curious to know what you guys think about you know what other home-based businesses aside from what we do in the markets you know we trade the financial markets and um, of course my opinion is that this is the best business that exists period just because of the nature of what we're able to do and the nature of the way that things operate within this industry and within this field that we're in. You know, the nature of the financial markets basically means that they will always be open no matter what. The nature of currency basically means that we'll always use money no matter what. And the fact that we're utilizing a platform that has its foundation in both of those industries, the industry of currency trading or the markets themselves currencies forex foreign exchange and also in uh, the industry of providing access to a platform that lets you capitalize on your understanding of how those markets move I mean that's the best business model in my opinion that you can have if you're looking to be you know in a solid business and in a solid industry that's not going anywhere like you know in spite of everything else closing down around us you got businesses closed you got corporations um right now laying people off there's a lot of uncertainty there's a lot of unknowns we don't know what things are going to look like after this has passed you know the world is changing around us as we speak you know not not going to change it's changing it's in the process of changing there's a lot of things that have changed already, you know, so things along those lines, 
you know, that's what I'm always curious to know is what else is out there that's equivalent or just as good as what we do in trading that's going to survive this pandemic. Something to think about. Something to think about. I mean, I just think about, you know, I'm, first of all, I'm very grateful and I'm thankful. I'm blessed to be in this position. I mean, just like what I'm doing right now with this project, this project is, is showing you what it looks like when you go slow and steady with the skill set and you're not putting stress and putting pressure on yourself. Like what I do right now on the phone, how I just pull out the phone and I take a look at the markets and, and wait for the market to let me know when it's time for an opportunity to, to come and then I can capitalize on it. I mean, that's remarkable. That is remarkable. I don't have to be stressed out worrying about, you know, if I'm doing things the way that I should be doing them. All I have to concern myself with is what is the market saying I should be doing right now? That's it. That's all I'm concerned about. What is the market telling me I should be doing right now? And whatever that is, that's what I'm going to do. Remember, we talked about this in, you know, yesterday's um, vlog. The market ain't never wrong. It's never wrong. So if you align yourself with the market, you'll never be wrong. Just think about it. <laughs> Powerful stuff. But in any case, y'all let me know, man. You know, let me know what other businesses out there are equivalent or similar, you know, give you an opportunity to be able to still be running right now, you know, to the point where you can generate income. You know, some people threw out some ideas early on in the live stream. They were talking about like, you know, MLM. And I mean, MLM is cool, but right now there's a lot of people that's not working. So a lot of the auto ships, you know, those things that you normally would be buying every month, who are you going to be selling them to? You're not working. How are you going to pay for it? If a lot of other people are working, how are they going to pay for it? Who's buying from you? Just something to think about. And like I said, MLM, network marketing, awesome industry. Powerful industry, without a doubt. But I just, you know, I just heard uh, Macy's is shutting down stores. Like shutting down. Like they don't know if they're going to reopen many of the stores when this is over. Macy's so you see how hard this is hitting in the economy and in this just various industries like that's retail retail is a powerful industry but retail is not immune to what's going on right now neither are many other industries that are out there so just things to think on that's really what I'm doing you know through the vlogs is just helping to give people food for thought especially right now during this pandemic because you know this is something that's going on right now and we never know what the future holds. So we don't know if something like this could potentially take place again in the future. We have no idea. We don't know. You know, the government and the country was not prepared for this at all. And the reaction to it was late. Right now, we're, we're really just doing everything to maintain our sanity to maintain our health and to stay safe. You know, we literally have to avoid loved ones, your friends, your family. You can't hang out with people right now because you don't know who might be contagious. Do we live in different times? I mean, right now, I'm, I'm in my car. I'm not outside. I'm just saying, I'm in my car running my business. So y'all let me know what other businesses out there are like this or the equivalent of this gives you the same type of freedom as this stress freedom time freedom money freedom yeah let me know screenshot right there get my screenshot right there all right so i'm a holler at y'all man i see y'all in the next vlog i'm gonna shoot over to uh igtv do a vlog real quick over there and then um, I'm headed back in the house. All right, so y'all be safe out here. Mark Fuller, Team Alliance. Peace.